Todd game. Listen, one of these days, this Sam Houston UCA game could be for the marbles. I told you that the other game. We've got to treat these last six like they're those kind of games. Learn to play in the big moment. Okay? This is a big moment. Let's play in it. Let's play with great effort and intensity and play to win. We're not playing to play close. We're not playing not to get killed. We're playing to win the game. I don't care what the records are. If the records matter, there's no, even, no reason to play today, right? You get 40 minutes. You get your opportunity here today. Let's go, baby. Final three, one, two, three, fight! vacation next month my family turns through all sorts of data. Well now we have mobile share value plans with rollover data so the data you don't use this month rolls over to the next. Sounds great but what's your angle? I don't think I have any angles. Hardball huh? Look if you want me in on this I want a piece of the action. Oh well you get the rollover data automatically so you're already in on the action. Deal. You should negotiate more stuff you're pretty good at it. Now get three lines for $120 a month with rollover data to share. Okay, so back to your team. Uh, speaking of Orange, you guys ran into an Orange buzzsaw over the weekend. Yeah. Sam Houston, a team that, you know, we talked about about Stephen at Boston because of the run they were on. 29 wins last year, and they've been, you know, uh, at the top of the league uh, or towards the top of the league all year this year as well. Uh, they're, I guess, they've only lost the one game to Corpus Christi, but, uh, boy, Sam Houston's been awfully good the last years as well, and they played very well last week, and I know you weren't exactly thrilled with the way your team came out. No, I, I want to, you know, first of all, give Sam Houston credit. They are a very good basketball team. But I, I was really disappointed in the way we came out in that game, and I, I, I let our team know that, and, and we've, we've talked about it. You know, in, the, in what we're going through right now, uh, Justin, the easiest thing in the world to do is get discouraged, hang your head, and just kind of, you know, go into the sunset. And what I look at it is, is, we have five games left. We have five games to get better. We have got to keep getting better. We're working towards something. I, I didn't anticipate we were going to win the Southland Conference this year anyway. This was a year of figuring out what we have, what we need to do, and try to put all the pieces together. So when we miss an opportunity, which we did on Saturday, when we just didn't compete like we should have, then we took a step backwards. Yeah. And so that's what we're trying to get across to the team. We had a great practice yesterday. We had a good film session this morning and shoot around. And I think we'll come out tonight with, you know, a little bit more intensity. But, uh, you know, that's that's part of the growth of a young team and a team that is struggling emotionally uh, with with the uh, what's going on right now. Yeah. What's your anticipation on what McNeese will do defensively? You know, there are multiple defense. Um, they're going to press a little bit. They're going to play a little 1-1-3 one, one, zone, which really turns into a 2-3 zone. But uh, just the beginning of it, it'll look a little bit like man. They'll stack their guards, and uh, we've been working on our guys identifying that. I think the big thing is being organized. Uh, if they're changing their defenses, we have to change our offense, and we just got to be alert to what they're doing and not go empty possessions where our lack of organization costs us points. So uh, it'll be a little bit of a chess match tonight, and uh, hopefully we can help them a little bit from the sideline. But uh, more than anything, our effort needs to be better. All right, good luck tonight. Thank you. Try not to make the mistakes that have been haunting us tonight, okay? Play with the freedom. You got to do that. But more than anything, play with the passion. You gotta play it hard. 
And if you don't play with heart and toughness, it's going to be hard to ever win. Heart and toughness, and I will get this victory for you if you go do it. Let's go see what we can get. Well, you know, man, let's take victory in the game. Let's go, man. Win on three, one, two, three, win. We got it! amazing and at Baptist Health we want to keep you that way in fact that's our mission to not only provide the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and comprehensive care to support your recovery but also to be your guide to health also you can keep on inspiring keep on reaching and keep on amazing see some of Baptist Health's amazing stories at keeponamazing.com play with heart we got embarrassed down there. When we went to him, we got embarrassed. And it's time to pay him back. Uh, if you guys want that, if you can do anything about that, you'll do it when we hit the floor. All right? Let's get it up. Let's go. Let's win, man. Let's go. Win on three, win on three, one, two, three, win.
I just I just appreciate you guys. I appreciate your effort. Appreciate that you've put in the hard work and you haven't got a lot of rewards, but you've kept coming at it and you're embodying what I want our team to be, which is work ethic and toughness. And today, you guys grew up a whole bunch. A whole bunch. And I want you to know I appreciate that. The last time the people saw you play this year here, you won. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes, sir. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes, sir. Hey. I want to say this to our fans who are listening going home. We really appreciate them. Uh, they've put up with a lot this year, and uh, but I think they can see the future of where, what we're trying to do and where we're trying to go with this thing. And I just want to thank everyone that has made an effort to come out and support these Bears. These young men deserve the support that they're getting from uh, these folks, and I hope in the future we have uh, a few more in here. But the crowd today was fantastic. Hey, one last thing is I know Mike Martin has come on. Yeah. Will you fix his free throws? 86% free throw shooter, one of the tops in the league, and just tonight couldn't find it, but he played a heck of a game. I was proud of him. He hit the ones that counted. That's exactly And right. uh, I'll tell you what Mike did. I know we're maybe running late, but I do. he's sitting there, and I want him to hear this. I thought tonight he helped coach this team, and that's what I'm hoping we get from him more and more. He has some great ideas, uh, especially changing defenses, changing assignments on the man-to-man, -man, and things like that is what I want our team to do is take an ownership, and Mike did a great job of that tonight. Hey, Mike, congratulations, man. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. You guys really fought, fought back into it after falling behind by seven. So talk to me about, I guess, some of the poise there you guys showed down the stretch to get back in this game after falling behind. I mean, really we like took care of the ball, which was a lot better. Like Usually we had in the game 20 turnovers. We only had 14, and we had 11 coming in the first half, I think. Yeah, that's right. So, had, I think 12 maybe with 18 minutes to go, so just a couple of the last 18 yeah. minutes or so. So it was good. It was good that we like controlled the ball more, didn't turn it over, made smarter passes, decisions, stuff like that. So that was good. You will never be confused with Russell Westbrook because you pass up a lot of open shots. I know you're trying to get your guys involved, and there are a lot of times I'm sitting over going, shoot it, Mike, shoot it. Uh, but certainly you did get 17 today and uh, did some good things offensively. Talk to me about your mentality, and Coach talked about you're thinking like a coach, certainly when you're on the floor. I know you're thinking like a point guard trying to get guys involved, and you do pass up some open shots along the way. I know that's part of the game plan probably. Mm -hmm, yeah, I mean, being a point guard really is just – distributing, helping others. If I can get mine, then I'll get mine. But other than that, I'm just looking to help everybody else. Get them better, get them ready for next year, which yeah. will be good. You did do a good job getting into the paint and causing some problems for the opposing team. Uh, what was it about Southeastern's defense that you were able to get through and get inside? Um, when they went zone, they didn't like, you know, they didn't hedge really, so I was like, I took opportunities just to, you know, go right down the middle or dish out or anything like that, so that was good. Well, you did have an overall excellent game. I do have to ask about the free throws, though, and if I, I mean, I don't know what the numbers are. I'm not a, I'm not a statistician, but for a guy who shoots 85%, I think you missed seven on the season, I think, coming into this game, and I think you missed six today. So was it something that uh, felt off, or did they, did they feel good when they left your hand? No, it was uh, – we had a shoot-around. We worked out, me and uh, Josh and Justin, and all of a sudden – we shoot free throws at the end, and that goal for some reason gave me problems. That goal did? Yeah, during okay. the shoot so around. So on the other end it was fine? The other end's fine, but that's weird. when we shot down there, all of a sudden. Well, that's a strange thing. Yeah. You know what, you hit the back end of those those two, uh, two, two shot opportunities, I guess, late though, and certainly that, and then Boo hit the back end of his one and his, his two shots too, so those free throws really made the difference, certainly yeah. in a two-point victory. Yeah, really big. Really so, big. second win of the season. You got, a, you got a tough road trip coming up, and as Coach mentioned, it's got to be quite a lift for you guys as we think about getting up early and traveling down to Houston tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one, but we'll get through it. Be a quick celebration tonight, I guess? Yeah, real quick. An intense one, though? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Mike, enjoy it, man. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, you. Brother. Appreciate it. All right. Man, have I got me a craving for a Zaxby's boneless wings meal. Oh, yeah. But how are you going to decide which sauce to have them tossed in? It's time to apply my scientific method. What the hit? Spicy honey barbecue. Hey, that's what I wanted. Let's go get one before the boss comes back. We gone. The boneless wings meal with new spicy honey barbecue sauce. Serve with celery ranch, crinkle fries, and a small drink. Upgrade your meal deal to a medium souvenir chicken flosh cup. Zaxby's, indescribably good.
Thank you.